Now, the linear drawing is done, now it's the tidying off, isn't it? And it is going to be a painting from drawing. So let's think about tone values now, and that's going to help when you put your paint on if you're going to put them in with your pencil first. Okay? So the light is coming from the right. Okay, so we'll put an arrow in just to remind us. Now what I'll do is I'll start to put in the tone values. And I'll just use, it's not a cross hatch as such, it's just a line. This is the dirty tone, okay? This one's trickier because I've got three shapes in front of that, so I'll put in the line, but I'll only take it to the point where the tree intersects with that. Okay? all about the light and the dark, the light and the dark. So I've got three, three, two trees here. So the light's coming from this way. Surely that's going to be darker on one side. That gives me the illusion <coughs> of two trees. Yeah, can you see that? Mm -hmm. So I've got the shape here. We'll put the tone in. against that tree, give that a lighter edge and possibly more here. And I'm hoping what I'm going to do is put a really dark tone in here against this light tone of the grass and come out here. Okay. I really like these lines on, on this surface. Can I borrow that? I'm doing that because I know that if I lean on that, I'll smudge it. So just, just covering up your drawing will help. Um, I don't know how many there is. I'm not looking at the picture. I'm not counting them. It doesn't matter. Okay, and we'll put a dark tone in the little doorway doing a mono are we? But this is quite a tricky subject to take on without understanding those tone values. So by putting them in a pencil, I'm hoping that it will make it clearer to you. Okay. Foliage, foliage, foliage. Okay, we've got light of it coming up here. I don't see the thick. I want you to be able to see that going through through the painting. What blue is that doing? Cobalt blue. Mm -hmm. got our nice sky in. <coughs> what I like to do with the pathway is very similar to what I do when I'm painting water. Uh, I like to put the similar colours that I put into the sky into that foreground as well. Uh, but what I will do is include a bit of brown, a bit of blue, and a lot of brown. Let's wet it. Let's give it a nice soft, even wash. And I can see that the pathway gets quite light as it goes back, so I won't be putting too much paint rose madder in as well. You just sweep it across, a bit of sienna. These are practicing your, your variegated washes now, to allow the colour 
all run together. And that paper knife. Mm. Might rather go back. Almost hardly any paint on that. Making sure I take it right up to the edges as well. And then I'll stop fiddling with it. The more I fiddle with it, the less it will lose its freshness. Now, obviously, the, paint, the painting is quite wet now, so we've got to think about areas that we can work on. Uh, I'll take some cadmium red and make it quite a strong one, but look a bit like I did with that. And what I'll do is I'll paint around those lines that I put in that are projecting that rooftop. And if I miss a few, it doesn't matter. As long as I'm getting a general feel of it. Turtle over the tree. And you are drawing with a brush when you've always exploded into the sky a bit. And you paint like this. You are you are actually drawing with your brush, whether you like it or not. And I like the fact that the corrugated bit also has a touch of red into that as well. So I'll just suggest you. We'll put some shadow into that later. Okay. Let's think about tone. I can't put the rooftops in yet, but let's think about the tone on the side of those. One that comes down, and I know that because I put it in with the pencil. But then here, I get a tree shape, so I'm, I'm negatively painting to create that tree shape. And having that pencil line in is convenient. And it tells me where the tone is. Okay. I've also got a tone that will run. If you haven't got rose model, a permanent rose do. Yes, or crimson would be nice, wouldn't it? Mm. I'm taking a bit of a risk here because the paint is still <coughs> very wet in places. Do is I'll run that shadow across. I'm gonna make that noise when you do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Starting to come together now. Mm -hmm. Again, the same thing's happening here. I know I've got a doorway there. I can see a barn doorway, but I'll ignore that for now. 